Hey, what's up everyone? Easy Earl here. Today we are going to discuss which is better. Is it Wix or Adobe Portfolio? So let's begin. Choosing between Wix and Adobe Portfolio depends on your specific needs, preferences, and the nature of the website you want to create. Okay? Now we are going to compare Wix and Adobe Portfolio's pros and cons. Now, in terms of Wix, it is incredibly user-friendly, featuring a drag-and-drop interface that allows users with no coding experience to create a professional-looking website easily. It offers a vast collection of templates across various industries and styles. Now, these templates are customizable, allowing users to personalize their websites according to their needs. In terms of Adobe Portfolio, it is very ideal for creatives who already use Adobe tools like Photoshop, Illustrator, Lightroom, Premiere Pro, as Portfolio seamlessly integrates with Adobe Creative Cloud streamlined and straightforward interface suitable for showcasing visual portfolios such as photography graphic design or art okay now moving along wix provides extensive design flexibility meaning you can customize layouts fonts colors and more giving you a high level of control over the appearance of your site wix has an app market that offers numerous apps and integrations for additional functionalities such as e-commerce bookings forms analytics and more now these apps can enhance your website's capabilities but in terms of adobe portfolio limited templates compared to wix but maintains a focus and visual appeal and simplicity making it great for showcasing creative work now it often comes included with adobe creative cloud subscription making it a cost effective option if you are already using adobe suite of tools right of course not every platform is perfect so we will dive into the accounts for both while wix offers a lot of design flexibility for users seeking highly specialized or intricate design modifications it might have limitations because um, advanced users might find it certain customization options restrictive compared to more open platforms Although Wix has a vast array of templates, once you have chosen a template and start building your site, it can be challenging to switch to a different template without rebuilding a significant portion of your website. Additionally, the templates can sometimes feel a bit rigid in terms of layout. Now, when we go home to um, Adobe Portfolio, the selection of templates in Adobe Portfolio might be more limited compared to other platforms like Wix or WordPress. Okay? Of course, this can restrict the variety of looks your site can achieve. Adobe Portfolio's integration with Adobe Creative Cloud could be seen as a limitation if you are not using Adobe suite of tools extensively. And if you don't utilize Adobe software for your creative work, the integration might not be as beneficial. Moving along, while Wix offers e-commerce e functionalities, it might not be as robust or customizable compared to a dedicated e-commerce platforms like Shopify or WooCommerce. And this might be limiting for businesses with extensive online selling needs. In some cases, websites built on Wix might experience lower loading times, especially if the site is heavily customized with many plugins or high resolution images. Now, Depending on your growth and evolving website needs, Adobe Portfolio might have limitations in scaling up for larger or more complex projects compared to some other platforms. Although, nowadays, Adobe Portfolio can be included with a certain Adobe Creative Cloud subscriptions for some users, investing in the entire Creative Cloud suite might be more expensive compared to other standalone website builders. All right. Okay, so here's our conclusion, all right? Because I'm using both platforms to utilize and take advantage of their features for my um, clients and businesses. So if you prioritize ease of use and extensive customization platforms, I believe Wix might be the better choice for you. All right. Now, if you want more information about Wix, I suggest you go hit their website, Wix.com. There's a lot of information for you to check from. And then now if you are a creative professional looking for a simpler platform tightly integrated with adobe tools 
obviously adobe portfolio could be the more suitable and practical option for you right and you need to consider your specific requirements and the type of website or portfolio you aim to create before making a decision now I suggest you go here at Adobe Portfolio website to check the uh, platform's information for you to decide which is better, right? Ultimately, the decision is just up to you. It's a matter of preferences, goals, needs, and budget, all right? And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.